let's go ahead and create a brand new repository on GitHub. Again, if you're using GitLab or Bitbucket, it's pretty much the exact same thing. We're just using GitHub as the primary example here. So what I want to do is click this little plus here and create a new repository. I'm going to create it as me, myself, I'm the owner. I'm also part of other organizations, so I could possibly create a repository under an, organiz an organization that I'm a part of. I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm just going to create a new repository in my own account. And this repository name is going to be Git Essentials Repo. Oh, we don't need to call it Repo. We'll just call it Git Essentials. And I can give it a description if I want to. And I can say, is it public or private? If it's public, everyone will be able to see my code. If it's private, nobody will be able to see your code. Now, if you're creating a portfolio, you want your code to be public. Would you like to initialize this repository with a readme file? That's basically the front file that says, oh, all about this piece of code, all about this project, what's going on in here? I'm going to say no, because we're going to add that manually a little bit later. So let's go ahead and create our repository. And now it's asking us to do one of two things. We can either create a new repository from our command line or push an existing repository from the command line. Now we don't have an existing repository, so we're not going to use this option. What we do want to do is create a new repository. So let's, let's go ahead and create a new file here. And we're going to walk through a few steps that might not make sense to you at first, but down the road they are going to. And before we do that, let's also switch it from HTTPS to SSH. Now again, if you don't have your SSH key set up, that's fine. You can just use HTTPS. I have SSH set up, so I'm going to use this link. Now before I do that, actually what I'm going to do is create a little temporary directory here. So I'm going to make a new directory, I'm going to call it test, and I'm going to cd into this directory. And if I do pwd, we can see I'm in a folder called test. Now yours are going to look different, yours will probably have a username, or if you're on Windows, it'll say C drive, Windows, yada, yada, yada. I'm just in a new folder, there's nothing in here. Now I'm going to paste that first command, and if I do ls-la, we now have a new readme file in here. We also need to init or initialize a new git repository, so we do git init ls-la, and we can see we now have a git folder in here. We pretty much never need to access this git folder. Now we're going to do a quick little commit. Just follow these commands. I'm going to walk through all of this step-by-step, lesson-by-lesson. So we're going to git, a, git add the readme. If I do a git status, you can actually see there's a new file in here. Again, you don't need to know what all this is. I'm going to create a new git commit. And this one's just going to be called first commit. And if I do git log, again, we'll explain git log more in depth down the road. We can see I've got a hash in here, which is pretty cool. I've got head, master, I've got an author. This is, this is where we configured our account using git config dash dash global. That's the user I put in. This is the email address I put in. I just, and I just blurred out my email address there, but uh, it'll say your email address. Next, we need to copy this line in here, git remote add origin. Paste that in there, and if we can do git remote dash v, and again, don't worry, we're going to get into all of this a little bit later, you can see that I'm using ssh, so git at github.com instead of https, so I'm using ssh, and this is my git username, github username, and this is my git repository. And lastly, we just need to push. Let's do git push dash u origin master. Again, we're going to go over all of this. We just need to get through these commands initially. Now this is the first time I'm using, using this new SSH key, so it's asking me, asking me if I want to continue. I'm just going to type yes. If you don't have an SSH key, it's going to ask you for your username and your password to GitHub. You're going to need to enter those every single time you want to do a push. I have an SSH key, so I don't need to do that every single time. Now let's go back here, and I'm simply just going to refresh this page. Hey, look at that. We now have pushed our first file up to GitHub. Now we don't necessarily know what all those commands were and that's okay, again, I know I've said this 30 times already, but we will get into each of those commands. At this point, you should have an example GitHub repository set up with one file in here called readme. And if we go and edit this, uh, we can actually see that it just says git essentials, that's exactly what was in that original command when we created this new file. And all we did was say, hey, we've got code on our computer, and then we basically zipped it up, sent it over to GitHub. GitHub said, cool, yeah, I can accept you. You are who you are because you've got an SSH key or you typed in your username and password. And I'm going to apply these changes. Now there's a lot of different things in GitHub. We'll get into a lot of these different things, the more common things at least. But for now, you have a brand new repository.